Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate the sources of an environmental noise on vintage electronics, vintage tube uh, AM radio here. It's a Motorola 4060. Uh, this could also happen on uh, vintage stereo, other types of radios, phonographs, uh, electric guitar amps, um, anything uh, with older style electronics now that is being utilized in a modern environment. First of all, I have several different sources here today of noise. I'm going to show you in a step-by-step -step process how uh, removing them um, or shutting them off uh, in the environment greatly improves the performance of the set. Um, first of all, the set has had all the capacitors replaced, including the filter caps, and was aligned and any other uh, out-of-tolerance components were uh, eliminated and uh, new ones replaced. First, so I have this on through my uh, Variac right now, and I'm going to slowly turn up the volume, and you'll hear what the baseline noise is currently. Now it's a very noisy set. If I had just uh, purchased this set or had brought it home from a repair shop and I was a general uh, consumer, I would be wondering what in the world is wrong with this radio. So let's start with some obvious sources of noise. You can tell my shop has um, fluorescent lighting, an overhead light task lighting here, and an overhead shop light here. Let's start with turning off the closest fluorescent and listen to the effect on the radio. Turn that back on. Shut it back off. That's pretty much common sense. Folks have known that fluorescent lighting, CFLs, other types of uh, similar Illuminating uh, products cause noise, neon signs. But uh, today's uh, energy conscious home has a lot more LEDs with um, simple power supplies built in with less filtering that create noise and also CFLs and fluorescent tubes that create noise. For now, I'm going to leave the overhead on until we uh, get through a couple more noise creators here in my environment. Next, I want to talk about uh, older style incandescent or even uh, control um, used in the past. Uh, and I mean like light dimmers and variable speed devices. Here on my setting iron, I have a, uh, a dirty dimmer, as I like to call it, that uh, is responsible for a lot of noise in the environment. I've had uh, light dimmers in the house two floors up that cause noise. Um, I'm going to start turning this and I'll show you the effect of this on the radio. As, you, as I turn it you might hear some fluctuations until I shut this off. You can hear that? Get over to off here. Let's we'll see what effect the dimmer has. Actually. Let me turn it back on here. You hear that buzz in the background? We've eliminated that buzz. But we still have some other issues going on here. Well, as I mentioned before, I have a tablet nearby. My phone is nearby. But another big source of um, <clears throat> buzzing uh, interference is the wall wart of today which usually has a lowly filtered power supply that creates a big electromagnetic field that causes a lot of interference and most of these are in the form of uh, today's homes uh, as a USB charger uh, similar to this I'm going to unplug this in proximity to the uh, radio and show you the effect and you'll hear it discharge
That got away the whistle. That really cleaned up a lot of this. There's still some noise in the background here. Let's see, I can get stations a lot better. Can I get that distance station here? I still have two more sources of noise. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, unplug my tablet. Over to the wall here, pull out the tablet power supply. You can hear the effect it has on this. tablet power supply was responsible for a lot of uh, I'll call it white noise and pink noise now we still have some noise going on here some buzzing <clears throat> but I uh, still have my overhead shop light on so let's go ahead and shut that off now you can hear the radio is pretty quiet I'm picking up distance stations now Still some no digital noise, and I know some of this is created by my phone, and this, the tablet is still running off batteries nearby, but I put my phone close. You see the phone is also a source, but much better results at this point. Now, the last thing we do is reorient the uh, antenna here, or the radio, away from, for the best, listen how that, boy, that really cleared that up. Still a little noise in the background, but it is a lot better than it was. All of the hotels are bustling, the, the service yeah. industry yeah. is bustling, and that's middle class jobs. We had a I'm sure any residual here is either from my house left as I have other CFLs on in the home, LEDs have a neon clock going on in the next room, and I have a tablet here running nearby plus my phone. It's just a strong signal on the local station here. But we have an eighth member, Ed Stockton, who lives in Pennsylvania, and he, he lives kind of close by, so we said, you know, come on that over. That concludes you know, this, this one with video yeah. on environmental noise factors so on vintage radio equipment.